Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. I know it's been a while, but uh, I, you know, I a lot of stuff has, uh, has been going on lately. So um, I wanted to return to Gunlocked because, um, in all honesty, this is uh, this is my favorite of the Vampire Survivor likes. Um, like, what I don't know what we're deciding to call that genre. I know everyone's got their own idea. I think Survivor likes serves the serves the uh, function just fine but anyway gun locked i i think this is my favorite i i like potato i like uh i like some of the other ones but um i think this one um kind of checks the boxes of, of being a very you know a satisfying survivor like but it is also novel enough and original enough that it doesn't feel like just another one um but you know i that might sound a little bit uh descending we'll we'll, we'll move on and uh Maybe I can talk about why I like this one. We're just gonna do a standard run, and uh, I'll talk a little bit about uh, what what they've added to this game, what has been what has been improved, what has been um, you know what kind of features we we've got now. Uh, there's built-in synergies, kind of like in um, Vampire Survivors, where you'll collect or max out uh, two different power-ups, and then you get like oh, a massive upgrade. Uh, this game works similarly in that if you collect just the the correct upgrades, you'll uh, you'll get like a synergy bonus, and then it'll up upgrade, uh, give like a massive upgrade to your current set, uh, loadout. Uh, they've added more bosses, more kind of levels, uh, and endless mode, which is actually really cool because it has like extra power ups that you can only kind of accrue after you've maxed out your loadout. I think that honestly uh, what matters most I don't think I've seen this before I think this is a new yeah this is definitely a new weapon I've never seen this one before there's a little bit more strategy going on in this one than maybe the others I think that a lot of survivor likes um, rely very heavily on just like the dopamine hit of uh, get the upgrades and do more damage and you know this one does as well but it doesn't necessarily rely that as just a stop a stop gap the the staple mark of, of a survival like is that it's actually not there isn't much of a of a kind of a skill climb like you know they'll pretend to be hard but re usually the difficulty is in like you haven't unlocked enough of the the kind of between games progression i i think in a way uh what what makes a survival like um recognizable is how it removes certain um gameplay mechanics like you know we have weapons but we can't really we have we don't really have much control over them they happen automatically they're all passive and i think that that is is something that is like very iconic of the survival like but well, something i do appreciate about um gunlocked is it makes an effort to make those weapons different enough in that it actually changes the way you kind of move around and and uh the, the way you dodge around enemies. I, I, a little little touches in quality of life features that have been added to this game over time, I, I, I still appreciate. They kind of updated, I thought this was an interesting move. Um, it's a very small touch, but it changed the way the, the gems look. They used to all be very chonky, chonky gems. And I don't know if that like lends more to how, you know, the player feels about the gems like you know oh do they, are they more interesting or are they more uh you know tantalizing if they're if they're like very large chonky gems as opposed to being small or do small gems add a bit more readability to the screen i will admit this game the, the game gets very outrageous with its um effects on screen and at a certain point you you will find it a little bit difficult to to, to sort of parse what's going on I actually got one of my favorite upgrades, which just like makes you an invincible juggernaut for like a, a few seconds, and then you uh, don't have any access to any of your weapons for a little while. We've got a good set of skills right now. They don't all synergize, but they're pretty good. But yeah, like I I'm not gonna say that none of the other games like kind of make you change the way you move around the screen, because you know, that's basically the gameplay. Um, you know, the way you, the way you dodge around the screen is, uh, basically the game in terms of, like, how, what kind of skill you, the player, can offer to the game. Um, being able to dodge around the projectiles is definitely going to help you succeed, and it definitely, uh, lends to, like, what is interesting about the games, but mostly you're here to see, like, how absurdly powerful you can become, and, and, uh, you know get some enjoyment from that from the eye candy 
which is a weird thing to say because a lot of these survival lakes are are very simplistic in in their art style i do i do like how gunlock looks i think it it went for um kind of a retro look i mean they, they all kind of do don't they but i i think that it is a little bit iconic like i i would be able to tell this one apart from some of the other games i think that a lot of the survival lakes kind of blended together a little bit the question is is like it, it's only a genre i think if um certain I, I think if games want to innovate on the format but a lot of games didn't um it, it really needs to be said that there were very few games that tried to innovate on the genre and actually contribute to it a lot of them were very similar in nature um, but a few that I, I thought did a good job of, of trying to stand on their own two feet was um, uh, this one, obviously. Uh, this one came out fairly soon after Vampire Survivor. And then um, I, I also liked Soulstone Survivors. I thought that one did a little bit more. You know, it's obviously got a, like a graphical difference, but also it did a bit more to try and uh, add a bit more like variety to the movement um you know having a having a dash and also uh having some extra like uh, um abilities for movement uh d definitely did a little bit to to kind of innovate on the genre although you know at a certain point i wonder i, I do wonder if a game if if you add enough mobility and player agency to like how the weapons work is it a vampire is it a survival like anymore is it then not just like another roguelite? This is this is the question, isn't it? So is it um, is it actually that there you know the the removal of some of the player agency is what we're what we're here for, or is it just because it's a very simplistic game with like a dopamine masher built in? So I wonder. Um, I did play. Was it twelve minutes till dawn, or I can't remember what it was called? Twenty minutes till dawn. Um, I, you know, I don't like to necessarily be down on, on indies, but I, that one did not resonate with me, is all I'll really say. I didn't, I didn't really enjoy that one. That one was weird because, uh, to me anyway, because it decided to be really difficult, which I think is, um, you know, I think part of the appeal of some of these games is that they're not actually meant to be challenging. They're, they're meant to be kind of a little bit of a time waster and, and like, you know, I think there's something to be said about games that you don't have to be good at in order to enjoy, you know, like that. They used to be called casual games, um, but casual is almost a form of dissent at this point. I think Gunlocked here maybe is asking a little bit more, but um, not much. I think that this game is fairly easy, uh, all things considered. For one thing, I'm I'm good at it, so that, you know, must say something about its uh, level, you know, bar for entry. Hello. Hello. Yes. Sorry, there's a child here. Why are you wet? Why, like, your cat? I don't know how many people out there, like, have cats. Like, you, you know, your, your cat visits you, and then you're, they're just wet, and it's disturbing. You don't know why. Okay, I might die here. Oh, that was really... The, that, um, repair module only works so long as you don't take damage so uh, i really could have used some more health there unfortunately i took some damage so we're gonna have to struggle through this boss if i could get that oh no no okay we got the cool the, the the basically it refreshes all of your weaponry so that they're all on like super mode there's a small chance i can i could get through this Okay, hold on. Sorry, my commentary is gonna die here for a moment. I can't believe I got through that. We got another reroll, and I also got a repair. Yeah, so, like, in terms of uh, Vampire Survival, it's like, survival likes, I, I liked Potato. I thought that that did uh, quite a bit. I know the dev also worked really hard on that one um, to, to, like, differentiate it. I, I think that it did a really good job of kind of, like, marrying the survival like with, like, drafting mechanics. Um, they all kind of do a drafting thing, but I think that one, d like, went out of its way to, to kind of add some of the auto chess mechanics that we've, uh, that I've enjoyed in the past. Ugh. Bone Razor Minions, which I thought was really good. It did a good job of uh, really like differentiating itself quite a bit. Had some actually very different gameplay from a lot of the um, 
the other I survival likes. And also, I wanted to um, I wanted to shout out um, Neophyte. Although here's the thing about Neophyte, uh, that's fight with a ph by the way. Um, that game was like, I feel like it maybe didn't do a good job of being a a survival like in the sense that it was it offered too much player agency. Like it, it just felt almost like a, um, an action MOBA-ish roguelite. Like it, it had basically full player agency and it felt more like kind of a, um, a standard kind of roguelite than, than a lot of the survival likes. That's not a bad thing. That just, you know, it, and it was good. It, like it was really good. Um, offered uh, quite a bit of uh, varied mechanics, um, power-ups, uh, enemies, and locations. I, I think the only thing that um, like very was like very nitpicky from my end was that games lasted a bit too long. Like I wanted to, every time I wanted to jump into a game of Neophyte, it was like, yeah, but it's like an hour and a half long or something like that. Uh, maybe it wasn't that long, but it felt long. Like if, you know, sometimes like I mean, 45 minutes even is too long. I think that um, a lot of these, I, I really think that uh, too, too many of the survival lakes tried to do like, you know, half an hour to an hour. Um, even, I think even honestly, Vampire Survivors is, is too long in some ways because it's like, yeah, like that, you know, makes it feel I guess better at the end of the of the of the game like you you have a much bigger difference of uh, power um, you know from the beginning to the end but also I think at a certain point like I start to get kind of burnt out just from like the sound effects like the sound effects in Vamp Vampire Survivors starts to get like very grating <laughs> near the end game it's just like a, a barrage of of like chip soundings uh, sounding just like sounds it's just like sound sound sounds and like you know from your projectiles from collecting the gems from destroying enemies and, and it's just like i mean obviously visually it is also um just like a barrage but i don't know i i think that uh, i'd almost like to see one of these games like give you power-ups a little bit more quickly also, um, you know, if you play a half an hour game a hundred times, that's a that's a lot of that's a lot of time. <laughs> that's a lot of time, and like for some people, that's gonna feel like an appeal. Like that's that's like yay, I'm, I'm getting a lot. I'm getting my money's worth out of this game. But like at a certain point, um, at a certain point, I, I just like I, I can't do it. Because, like, remember, there's, like, 40 of these, right? So at a certain point, like, if all of them are demanding 100 hours of gameplay or something like that, then I, I have to say, well, you know, compromises must be made. Something I do appreciate about this one is it's, like, maximum 15 minutes. So, like, I could actually jump in and, like, unless I die, um, which it would make the game even shorter, obviously, but uh, unless I die, it's, like, 15 minutes is, is the most I'm being asked of, of this game. And, you know, I know it's weird to, like, wish that games didn't have as much game time in them, but it's like, it's not like I don't want them to be replayed a lot of times. I just think that some of them feel a little bit long in the tooth when you're playing this, like, cacophony of, of sound effects and, and visual effects for half an hour. I start to feel a little bit numb near the end. Um, maybe that's just a me thing, but I, I do appreciate that uh, some of these games, like, you know, saw that and, and decided to change things up a bit. I do appreciate that this one's like only 15 minutes. Like when when Brotato was a demo, it was like 10 waves and I thought that was kind of perfect. Cause it's like, yeah, that's, you know, makes for a really short game, but like, that's the point. You know, it's very, very quick. You get your dopamine hit, you're good. You get in, you get out, you're done. Uh, and then when the full game came out, 20 waves, like, you know what, I I'm not gonna, it's not a criticism so much as a, as a desire. I, I kind of feel like something was lost there a little bit. Maybe that's me. All right, well, that's going to do it. Um, this is Gunlocked, and it's I think it's one of my favorite. Uh, I mean, it's definitely my favorite of the survival likes, but it's also up there. It's it, with, up there with the games that uh, I, I, I come back to and, and I tend to enjoy. And I've gotten, let's see, how much? 
12 hours out of this game which is probably low um comparatively speaking to a lot of people's uh clocked hours and and the survival likes but it's high for me because i tend to play a game like once or twice and then i move on to you know what i have to cover next uh so i think 12 hours is really good um compare that to well bone razor uh minions i really like that game and i only got an hour uh almost two hours out of it and that for me like i was like yeah i really like that game that's a good game um so you know that's and then and then like just to out myself completely here vampire survivors nine hours i got nine hours out of vampire survivors so there you go um i i think that gunlock this is very much worthwhile uh, and worth playing even if you have vampire survivors and especially if you have vampire survivors because i think it does add and contribute a lot to the genre uh, i'll see you guys next time take it easy have a good one